Yanthromitra from Creativity to Innovation. Hello friends, today let us solve a few questions relating to inequalities. So this topic appears in many competitive examinations and in CLAT also we find these kind of questions. When it comes to inequalities, there are three major signs that are very important in the chapter. One is equal to, second is smaller than and third is greater than. There are two more signals, signs as such which can be understood over here that is smaller than or equal to and greater than or equal to. When you talk about equal to, if at all you say A is equal to B, it just means that A can be replaced by B or B can be replaced by A. At the same time, when I say A is smaller than B, means it just means A is smaller than B. It cannot be replaced either way. Same way, when we say A is greater than B or when it comes to A is smaller than or equal to B, which means that A is either smaller than B or A is equal to B. When, it, when we say A is greater than or equal to B, it means that there are two probabilities. A is great, either greater than B or A is equal to B. In no case, A is smaller than B, it means. So, there are two probabilities in the last two kind of signs. So, now let us solve a few questions. If at all you have a question in the examination that says A is greater than B, B is greater than C, C is greater than D and D is greater than E. Now find the relation if the statement says find whether A is smaller than E Second thing is A is greater than E. Now in this situation, you will have to understand this particular question has to reassemble. Let us come back over here. What does this mean? A is greater than B. B in turn is greater than C. C is greater than D. And D in turn is greater than E. Which means A is greater than B. So A is also greater than C. Hence A is also greater than D. Which means that A is greater than E. Which means that the statement given over here for concluding A is greater than E which means the first statement is wrong and the second statement is correct. So the answer will be statement 2 alone is correct. Now let us understand the topic with the help of a second question.
if you have a question d is smaller than e e is equal to f f is smaller than m m is greater than g and the statements given over here that is for the conclusions two conclusions given over here are d is smaller than m and d is greater than g so now we will have to find it out that for your clear understanding i will have to write the entire equation again hence i am going to erase this part which was taken for the explanation so obviously we will have to rearrange the statements questions over here d is smaller than e e is equal to f f is smaller than m m is greater than g so with this kind of a question you will have to understand one thing what are the middle, what are the main terms the main terms over here is d and m so the d is here and m is here so the middle terms over here are e and f how are the symbols over here see the symbols symbols are complementary which means that d is smaller than e and e is equal to f e is equal to f means e either e can be replaced by f and f can be replaced by e which can also mean that d is smaller than e which is equal to f hence d is smaller than f and f is smaller than m see the symbols they are same symbols hence d is smaller than m can be concluded so this is your sec this is your first conclusion which is correct but there is second second conclusion again which we will have to test so that we will have to find out we will have to take the answer there in the examination so now in the second statement what is given d and g take it again over here so which are the two terms d and g so d and g are the main terms d and g and the middle terms are all e f m now you will have to understand how do we go ahead when different signs are for your clear understanding i will be writing it step by step which can always be eliminated at a later stage so d is greater than e e is equal to f hence i can always say d is greater uh, d is smaller than f f is smaller than m but m is greater than g which means that see the symbols over here these are not complementary symbols 
Hence, these symbols or these signs help us to understand that D is we cannot have any relationship of that kind. D is smaller than F and F is smaller than M. I can always write as D is smaller than F and F is smaller than M. Hence, D is smaller than M. But later on, M is greater than G. So the symbol over here, M being the middle point, we will not be able to conclude anything. Hence, this particular thing cannot be concluded. Hence, I can always say that the second answer option or second conclusion is not satisfying. Is not satisfying. Hence, the answer would be over here as only statement 1 or only conclusion 1 satisfies. Conclusion 1 alone satisfies for this particular question.